Physical security. This might sound like the seven foot shaven headed bouncers you'd hire to stop drunk people causing havoc in your nightclub. But at work, it's more about stopping baddies from getting into your building and helping themselves to whatever they want. Sometimes they're easy to spot. You scan your security badge, walk into the building, and just before the door closes, you hear somebody tiptoeing in behind you. This is called tailgating. It Kinda looks like Ned from HR, and he's wearing Ned's ID badge too. But as you get a bit closer, you notice that it's a stranger in a wig and one of those fake noses you get from a Halloween shop. Nice try, fake Ned, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Then there are those who act a little sneakier. You arrive at the office at the same time as Brenda from the breakfast bar, who has a big box of toasties for everyone. Brenda insists on following you inside to deliver her treats, even though she hasn't got a visitor's badge. This is known as piggybacking. Then, as your co-workers lunge towards the sandwiches like a pack of starving hyenas, she slips a laptop or two into a bag. Oh, Brenda, (laughs) you sneaky devil. And even ones who are almost undetectable. Keith from IT is knocking on the office door. He's left his security badge at home, so you let him in and open the server room for him before heading back to your desk. But what you don't know is that Keith was fired two weeks ago and now he's back to cause absolute mayhem. Deleting company data, setting off the fire extinguishers and using the recycling bin as a toilet. Ah, Keith, (laughs) not in the bin. So, how can you stop this sneakiness? Well, number one, never prop doors open. Even if Janet, who sits near the front door, loves feeling the breeze on her face, that's asking for trouble. Number two, challenge anyone you don't recognise, because baddies are banking on you feeling rude for asking. And number three, don't let anybody tailgate you into the building, and don't let anybody piggyback on your badge. Even if you know who they are, make sure they scan their badge too, even for secure rooms inside the building. And if you feel awkward doing any of this, report what's happened to whoever looks after security and let them handle it. It's not snitching, it's stopping baddies in their tracks.